So, Biohazard comes back from a Rust background, uh, ventured into Daisy and got involved in the Kuru world. Um, first of all, Bio, uh, what made you jump from Rust to Daisy? What was the appeal? Um, well, I've uh, actually been a day, uh, veteran. I'm a veteran DayZ player, actually. Um, I used to play when it first became a mod from Arma 2. Nice. Uh, before Rust. Yep. So I've been playing DayZ forever. And Rust was one of those things that I, other friends were playing, and they said, hey, come try this. So I came and tried. I... It, I can openly admit, uh, PvP Rust is not for me. Not, not keen. <laughs> oh. No, it is. It is too toxic. Yep. Uh, yeah, I'm, way too toxic, I've heard and, Rust um, is very toxic. It's yeah. the most toxic game I've found to be out there for official servers. Yep. So. I only go community, and that's it. How is the community scene over at Rust since it since it uh, made its way to console? Oh, uh, that's uh, I I stopped playing Rust on PC years ago, uh, but since it's been on console, the advantages of Rust console I'm gonna have to say are a little bit higher uh, standard than DayZ currently. Yep. Because they have they have vehicles. Yep. Uh, and the, the main kicker lot. is if Daisy gave if Daisy gave us a horse like Rust, that that would just be a game changer all all together. Yep. Wait, there's horses on Rust. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's horses, yeah. boat. There's horses, boats, submarines, and tugboats. Yep. Do they don't have the train vehicles yeah. on console, do they? The ones that you mod and put together no. and, yeah. Nope. No, they don't yet. have helicopters or no. trains yet. But they do have underwater labs. They have everything that Rust currently has except for helicopters and trains. Yeah. Helicopters are a bit harder on console. See that in a lot of games, especially multiplayer. Uh, Depends on the game. So, um, how long have you been recently playing DayZ for? Uh, I am, it's an off and on game, but I'm always on there. Yep. Uh, uh I'm going to say, I don't know, going on, currently going on five years. Yeah, I'm part nice. Of, I, am, I am also part of a community uh, that I help run. I'm an admin part uh, with them. Yeah, give them a plug. Uh, all that remains. Oh, good server. Good server. And, uh, long time people. Wolfric's been in, in my community for a very long time. Wolfric and uh, Pan and are Mr. Pan Man. awesome. Yep. Yes, Mr. Pan Man. Yep, absolute legends. Oh, well, that's good. You're listening uh, to the right server. So you're plaguing their server with your cannibalism. Yes. <laughs> well, yes, I've been with with them for three and a half years. Three and a half, oh, yeah. Wow. Shit. Quite yeah. a while. Quite a while. So uh, I've probably crossed paths with you a few times playing on AAH and their early oh, one. Oh, oh, God. Um, oh. Reverence, I think it was. Reverence? Uh, um... Oh, I got to try and think of their first oh, set of server. Open. Yeah, they've had a few. They had up to seven servers at one stage. Uh, PVE, yeah, deathmatch, uh, PVE, PVP, death matches. Uh, North, there was a Northwest uh, deathmatch. Yep. Uh, <coughs> a Tissy deathmatch. Uh, World Lo AAH, World Lost, uh, which was Chinaris. Uh There was uh, Valkyrie Reloaded, which was Lo uh, Livonia. Yep. The admins yeah, had another one, but I, each of their admins that ran yeah. the total amount had a different server. That's where Mute the Turtle came from, yes. or Mute Turtle. Oh, oh, 
Shafty Turtle. Shafty, yeah. uh, Shafty Turtle. Shafty Turtle's another one that's there. But Mutes also came from there as well. So, yeah, hectic. A lot of things have changed. So, the real question is, Kuru is a punishment for an easy meal. Why did you embrace it? Um, I figured it was something different, and I could drive my friends insane <laughs> to the point that if they've had enough, they'll just put a bullet in me. Yeah, that's so. That's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, I, and I've driven myself crazy from it. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, I've driven myself insane, actually. Uh, driving on a sky highway, had enough, drove, took a hard right, and drove right off the high, high, <laughs> sky highway. Yep. <laughs> one trip, one trip back to the north. Yep, straight away. Oh, I'm wicked. Yeah. But uh... and then if I get back in time, um, what what really made me get uh, wanted to go Kuru was um, it's something different. I, everybody does it. I uh, I understand when you're being a cannibal, you laugh, giggle, drive people insane, make people uh, hear you from a distance because of that giggle. Yep. But I don't care it, it, because I look at it as this way. If, you, if I can kill a normal player by um, even having my twitches with my Kuru, um, shame on them for letting me do that. Oh, okay. I like that. Skill issues. Yeah, so yeah. you yes. you put yes. yourself Skill as issue. a disadvantage to to I guess give yourself a height and effect of the kills. Uh cuz having the twitches is it I've had to learn how to shoot a gun while twitching. It's not the easiest. <laughs> no. <laughs> even, even, even still now I've been uh, cannibal for about Two and a half years yeah, wow. And even still to this day It's still hard to shoot a gun I will openly admit that yep. No problem <laughs> And also what about having Kuru is I have a permanent heat buff So I always stay warm Packing meat. Yeah. Well, or, or does it constantly stay on when you got Kuru? What? When you actually, when you actually have the Kuru disease, when you're actually giggling and everything, you will have a uh, constant uh, heat buff. It won't be very great. It'll just be a very tensy smidge where you might have the uh, plus sign by yep. the temperature bar. But otherwise than that. Um, I don't really get cold. Wow. Wait, without, without, without packing Without meat, heating, you just yeah. In general. I guess it's the infection. Without heat packs oh. or, yeah, the infection. Yeah, without, without having heat packs or oh. having cauldrons or cooking pots filled with water after cooking them for heat source, um, I just, uh, I eat cannibals. Uh, uh, other cannibals, other people. Uh, I, I can still eat regular food because as a cannibal, you don't get all your calories f just from eating human steak. Yep. You have to eat other food to keep your calories up. So just eating human steak just uh, keeps the giggles and the Kuru virus in me. But you have but, to also uh, eat as well. Food, yes, food and food and liquid is still a vital necessity okay. so is this like a heat thing is it because of like because you're like you're running a temperature sort of thing or what yes because you're constantly running a temperature because you're sick yeah is this that is if, that for all illnesses or is this just for kuru like if we're sick with I, just just for kuru i could still get sick Ooh. yeah right uh, I can I can still get sick. Uh, I can still take tet and multivitamin. I can uh, all the uh, EpiPen, like the morphine EpiPen and the POX, POX vial. I can still take all that and uh, cure each 
each infection and disease for or what each of it does. But Kuru itself, the only way to cure Kuru is, bol is a bullet or what my mm. friends recently have come encountered with that I tell if you shoot me with it, it doesn't matter if you're an innocent bystander, you're a collateral damage for for uh, shoot them shooting me. Uh, my friends uh, like to shoot me with the Cupid Bolt. Oh, yeah, it cure you. It cures everything. Yep. And um, it also inflicts a boot, like a buff, I, I would say. Uh, for each arrow, it's about 20 minutes that the buff uh, goes on for. And I can't eat get Kuru back for that 20 minutes. So each arrow, <laughs> it stacks. So they just pump you full of arrows. <laughs> Correct. They, they, they won't let me die. They just shoot me with arrows. <laughs> yeah, I could eat a bullet afterwards, but what's the point of eating a bullet and restarting? I have all my gear. Yeah. Yep. I suppose yeah, that's my, the advantage of community the... servers. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. But, but also, <laughs> I can't really say that about our server anymore, because things are there. They're there, just not all concentrated. They're spread far and wide now. Yeah. Things have, Wolf Wolf Pan been working their magic and doing what they need to do to make the server right, and currently the conditions. Are nice, no complaints, no nothing. And the only complaint I have, I will always have this complaint: gas. Gas. I want more gas. More gas. More gas. <laughs> you want more gas? Uh, yeah. I'm. I'm not allowed to exactly have gas on my server, so because I get into trouble with it. I will gas the server owner and the community owner and have n no thoughts about it. <laughs> uh, the old poxes, they're good. Uh, you talked about the stages. Oh, he had the toys taken off. Yeah, he had his toys <laughs> taken off him. <laughs> <laughs> um, but you talked about the stages of Kuru and the effects. Do you want to go through the stages that you go through? Uh, there's five different stages of Kuru. The first stage of Kuru is just getting it. And that's just the pain steak full of after you've, you've eaten your first few steaks, you have to wait so you can get the giggle. That's the painful, that's the painful part. Yep. Um, and the second stage is the constant twitching. Uh, along with a little bit of giggling here and there. Third stage is intervals of giggling. And from there, it pretty much just, it's just more giggling. And the heat buff uh, gets higher. So occasionally I'll have to strip out of my clothes to cool off. Shit. Because, uh, yeah, even driving, I'll have to pull over because I'm too hot, so I'll have to take a piece of, piece of clothing or two off, put it in the backpack, or put it on the ground, sit there for a moment, yeah, just to cool off. The cars give you a heat bonus to start off with, so yeah, you're in there cooking yeah, away, well, so. sweating, getting all sweaty behind the yeah, wheel. Yeah, and usually when I'm driving heat my heat buff or my heat bar or period is yellow so i'm usually constantly always sweating yep uh the fifth stage uh, the fourth and fifth stage is just non-stop laughter uh it just gets longer and longer for the intervals of laughter so you're just constantly giggling and, Almost. Uh, I've gone one time. I, I giggled for seven and a half minutes straight. <laughs> Losing oh. your mind. 
Yeah. Over the main stage, I would have shot that. you. You would, got, you would never have got the seven and a half minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Have you have, have you prolonged <laughs> Kuru long enough to the point that you've just dropped dead from it? It is a it is a brain disease, and that's um, what's going on. Um. Well, here's the kicker about that: as long as I eat it cooked, that won't happen. Yep. Uh, if I eat it raw, what will happen is I will constantly throw up. It doesn't matter how much food I eat. If I eat a little bit too much food, like how you get regular sickness and you have to uh, treat yourself with tent. Yep. Like that kind of throw up, except for it's like three times worse. You you lose more food and water from eating that uncooked than meat. What, yeah. What normally. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So it's it's if you don't cook <laughs> it, it's it's more detrimental to you eating it raw. Yes, it is more very detrimental, and the side effects are pretty much, you already know what you got to do uh, if you eat it raw, because there's no stopping the throw, uh, puking, there's no getting uh, better, no, none of the uh, cures or will work, maybe a bo Cupid Bolt, haven't tried it, don't know, I can't say it does, Yep. it might, probably does. It's a good quality um, thing, that Cupid Bolt. Oh, uh, yeah, that was an interesting thing that um, the devs put into the game. And that was one of the things that really, really pissed me off. <laughs> Everyone else yeah, embraced uh, it. it was a... All the cannibals hated it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. We could finally shut our friend out without having to cause detrimental <laughs> effects. A bit. A little bit. Got a yeah. got a question for the yeah, crowd. Just a little bit. <laughs> uh, what would you think about the changes for Kuru, like make it an actual disease? Would you change anything? Mm. Mm. That's a tough one. Mm. Give me a moment to ponder that real quick. No, that's fine. That's fine. Got him on the spot. Got him on the spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I didn't kind of expect expect that, but uh, <sighs> changes. Uh, hell, um, let us let us eat it raw and still get the same effect without having the catastrophic effect of uh, death uh, eventually. Yeah. So take take out the point that you're eating human effects. meat, no matter way you which way you cook it. The Kuru disease Correct. outweighs everything. Yes. Yeah. I know. I agree with that. I think a cannibal should be able to just murder bodies and just cut it up. We used to do it before you, before the cooking element happened. Uh, we used to just cut up people and eat oh. it as we walked. Oh yeah. No. Oh God. That's 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 not good. No, that was. You don't do that. That was the early days. No, you do. It's a, it's a running snack. Uh. <laughs> well, yeah, I understand that in the uh, early days, uh, even in the early days uh, for me, uh, back when there was no community servers Yep. on Xbox, uh, I still I still knew about, uh, I didn't know about boiling, the, when uh, bo uh, the whole boiling effect for boiling human steak came out, I was blown away by that. You want to delve into that? The different cooking styles activated quicker, or um, keeping it dried and baked um, over boiling uh, human steak is it's different. I don't know exactly by how much, but I tend to. Let's see. I, I'd probably already have the giggles right now. Yep. If you had if the boiling. Boiled. Yeah. Okay. Yes. If it was boiled, I'd already had. I'd already have it. I, I would have already uh, giggled about probably five or six minutes ago. Well, that really brings the effect on, and you've baked it and dried it, so it slowed the effects. 
Yes. Oh, For all the fans out there, if you're if there's fans out there watching that's cannibal, here you go. Meat and steak. That's it. Just for you. Get into it. <laughs> Got a long pole. Do it slower. It's green. <laughs> it's gr is get that green idea. Oh, I am. Very much so. I love I love eating my friends. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> They're the best time. I do. Um oh, so, they are. So I guess you would say that the Kuru way in Daisy is a lot harder to survive? Or do you think it's um, easier? As far as... Mr. New Fryer in the house. Hello, good sir. I guess I, I'll openly admit um, having Kuru either way is hard to, uh, hard to uh, live in Daisy because you always have that fear of being shot because you are a prime target Anybody that hears that giggle, oh, they have to kill the uh, cannibal. Yes. Uh, because that, that number leads... one rule, that's the number one rule anywhere, usually. you got to kill the cannibal. Um, unless, unless by some mere luck, they talk to the cannibal first. If they're... If they, let's say, have their hands up, walking forward, and everything like that, you see them in your sights and all that, give them a chance. Give them a chance. You never know. You might, you <laughs> might meet that one nice cannibal. <laughs> those nice cannibals out there that won't shoot you <laughs> just for but your they're just gonna That's eat it. You. We'll but invite you for dinner, <laughs> not, not have you but, for dinner. But here's the thing, though. <laughs> But here's the thing, though. Some some cannibals will do that. I I know a few cannibals that are like that. I I kind of frown upon that. Uh, I'm I am a faction. I'm a faction leader, and our faction we kind of don't do that to our close friends. Well, I can't say that for me because I do that to my friends no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You're not making a good case, so. though. You're not making a very good case. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, yeah, I, it sounded See, like I, it I sounded know. like as soon as you get hungry, you're eating the nearest person. Um, well, yeah. well, they're just walking uh, I meals. Should, uh, I should also say for my home on server wise, um, I I have my own cannibal camp. Yep. And um, just for our pleasure, um, I have a spawn of human steak for myself, uh, but. That's besides the point. That's just a backup. Yep. I, I'd rather have it fresh from innocent victims that come in the area or people that die to bears or get hit by cars or fall off a sky bridge. <laughs> like, like a good roadkill. <laughs> oh, yes. A very good swell roadkill. I love it. I think it's great. Um so you you delved into the the trust issue. Are cannibals less trusted? Is having a cannibal in your party yes. a death sentence? Yes, yes, and no to both of those uh, questions. Uh, can they be trusted? Fifty fifty. Yep. <laughs> yes yep. and no. Uh, can you, trust them to have your back can you have your back? Yeah. Can you trust them to have your back in a gunfight? Well, when they, when they when you really need them, yes. Yep. Yep. Um, well, they got two agendas there, don't you? Yes, because you have a uh, choice. Do you do you want to die as well for shooting one of them because they're going to shoot you? Yep. Or do you just not want to and just play it out and actually be nice? That's that's the option that the first option. Second option is just murder everybody. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> oh, there, there we, we go. go. <laughs> we got our first we one. Go. We got our first chuckle. Uh, so we're about about half an hour into it, maybe a little bit longer. So there you go. There's a comparison between um, you know the different styles of cooking it and its ability to cut on set. Um, Yes. 
when, when you come up against a, a, say, a new player or players on there, do you get a personality change when that occurs, when the laugh occurs? Can you pick it up? Like, you're like, oh, shit, oh, yes. they're going to... I'm oh, gonna yes. watch myself oh, yes. here because they oh, know. Oh. Um, I've had a few occasions where I've come up across other players that know who I am, let's say through Discord, but yeah. they haven't. They have yet to meet me on the server. Yep. And when they first meet me on the server, they forget that I'm a cannibal. <laughs> <laughs> I giggle, and usually. Usually, I usually shut them up, in all honesty. Not, not to be rude or anything, but I usually shut them up and make them not want to say anything. Yeah. Like, like I make them kind of scared to say anything because I'm a cannibal. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. No. Because uh, they don't know... Because they don't know what my intentions are. That's exactly right. When you, uh, when you I suppose, run with the predator... Um, there's a, a certain dis, uh, a certain level of distrust. Um, you know, you, you you are basically walking your Players, own. It's yes. like leading a cow to Northwestern Airfield. <laughs> <laughs> Not only are you going to carry my gear, but you, I'm going to eat you too. <laughs> Have you done that? Have you actually got someone and, and thought? Oh, yeah, this is actually going to be my life. A, I did that to <laughs> like, a whole like squad a mule? of people. Oh, I really? did that to a whole squad of people. Savage. Oh, elaborate uh, on that story. What happened? We all... What, how did, uh, what happened Did you pick him is, off one by one? And no one realized no, uh, what was happening? No, we, were, we were all in a group. I, shot, uh, I, I pointed a 40 mic at the ground and took us all out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then come back for the feed. Jesus. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I drove back in my car because uh, I ran back to my base uh, after about a half an hour of running. And then quickly drove up there. And I was able to get three out of the six bodies. <sighs> What a face. I wasn't I I don't really care about gear, other people's gear. Yeah. I only care about my gear. Yep. I don't right. care so about gear down... whatsoever. I don't care yeah, about you're... gear whatsoever. I just want food. You're taking down factions to eat them. You... <laughs> yep. To eat them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fully geared factions with all the gear. Fuck nice that. Base. I just want, I just want your butt. In. I just want your leg muscle. The gluteus maximus. Yeah. Your rear so, end. So again, I do that on other servers. I tend to not do that on my server because it's kind of frowned upon if the uh, cannibal's going to just set people up. Yeah. Oh. So, and and because I'm I'm also an admin too, so that would also look bad on me. But technically speaking, I have an admin account. I have my main account. Yep. My main account's just a regular player like uh, everybody sitting here. Yep. <clears throat> my admin account is just just for admin duties. Yeah. That's why it's got a zero gamer score. That's it. Trade uh that sort of stuff. And then you got your runabout. Correct. That's that is what this is. Uh, do you get attacked more often, or are you hunted down as a cannibal? Like, are you a target for people? Um, I can't say exactly. I'm an. Well, actually, nine out of ten, I'm a target. Yep. Just because I giggle. Yep. And and coda coda ethic is shoot shoot the giggle. Yep. That's my that's uh, sorry I brought that in. <laughs> shoot shoot the giggler. That's, that's okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's that's what the code of conduct. You kind of kind of you kind of have to follow it. Yeah, hundred percent. Um. 
So what are your best tips for staying alive as a cannibal, either on official servers or on community? Um, how do you, how do you keep really the drive going? How do I keep it going? Yeah. Community, that's a different story because each, uh, each community server is different. Yep. Um, so I can't exactly say too much on that aspect of keeping it going because each server is different. Each server is going to have their di uh, different ca cause and effects and depends on what they got going on. Uh, it depends on if it's a straight KOS server with <laughs> it is. It, no, it just got a little bit yeah. longer. And then, at the, the it, I've just noticed all, all the, the, laugh? the laugh is just a little bit longer now. It's just not just a little giggle. It's a little bit of a chuckle at the end. Yeah, and then it uh, it goes a little bit, a little bit longer, and you, you'll you'll eventually hear it. And intervals are two minutes. Yep. Thirty seconds. No. Yep. Uh, but uh, as far as uh, but as far as um, uh, cause cause and effect on official servers with having Kuru, um, my best advice because I still play on official server. Nice. As well. Uh, and the shout out to that server would be six uh first person only uh six two two nine six two two nine so get out there and hunt the cannibals down on six two two nine give them a little hug uh, and uh yeah i've i played respawn simulator with um somebody uh the other day me and him kept getting the same spawn i, I figured it was the same person uh because we kept duking it out <laughs> i kept trying to cut up the bodies as he kept he person came back in uh hey maker me from behind uh and then put me down i come back i spawn right next to him hey maker him put him down we we went back and forth for about probably six or seven times and then i finally i finally put my hands up and said hey bro in game chat hey i don't want none of this gear i just want this uh the humans and he's like, oh, sorry, I thought you're trying to keep killing me. I'm like, well, you're giving me free human steak. Of course I'm going to keep doing that. He kept uh, attacking me. <laughs> and that was, the ni that was the nicest person I met on official server in probably five years. <laughs> so you became friends. Yes. Legitimately, we became friends, uh, and we play here and there like once or twice a week that's pretty oh, hectic. really that's the way to, that's the way to do it that's the way to really make friends yeah nice yeah, um, and, and the kicker is is he is chinese oh sick so it's very hard it is very hard to understand him yep we, oh. we use a lot of um tech uh Either speak to text or talk the talk to text in the Xbox party chat. Oh yeah, cool. So you can get the yeah, get the flip over. That's really cool. You, you don't come across many Chinese plays, man. No. Like ever. No. Especially on uh, EU or US servers. Yeah. yeah. That's the the best thing about this game is the multiculturalism you can get from it. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot it. of diversity, and it really opens the possibilities to a lot of things for this game. Yeah, big time. Uh, I, I, I will openly agree uh, with the devs for taking out spray paint cans in the early game. Why, Why is that? I don't, I don't know. Why? if. Uh, do you do you guys remember the uh, spray paint cans? Yeah. Uh, on the uh, real on the real reason on the... why they uh, removed them? No, I don't know the reason why. Because of all the because of all the hate hate images and because of I, I don't want to say it, uh, but things from the Nazis and stuff and like that. And oh yeah, swatch stickers. Uh, yeah, yeah. There you go. Uh, 
those hate speech, all that was, there was a lot of profanity, uh, obscure uh, pictures that were being drawn and everything, and Daisy Devs had, that's definitely something that they had to remove. Yeah. Yeah, right. So people stepped out of just drawing penises. That's it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Exactly. Yep. Got to keep it <laughs> just what... penises, people. That's it. Dicker balls. That's all it's going to be for your offensive. Dicker balls. Let's have a little laugh, a little hair on it. Let's move on. <laughs> yeah, universal language of having a good time graffiti. <laughs> that's it. Penis. Yeah, but you that, can that's, see that's what's up. you can see that with a, quite a few games. I believe Rust is the same, except they and even Minecraft, where they have mods oh. where you can um, add in real pictures. Um, a, a lot of a lot of streamer style servers on Minecraft actually people will put up nude pictures on in the actual game up on on their bases, so streamers won't come near them. Because they instantly get flagged of having nudity. Yeah, that's oh. um, that's how it is on uh, oh. PC Rust. Yeah, as PC well. Rust is the same. Uh, it, PC Rust is, Rob. is probably the number one number one uh, toxic one for that. Yeah, that's it, and that's and that's why you know things like that have been taken out of DayZ. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's pretty hectic. Uh, what's well, the last of my questions? Do the co-hosts have any questions for our guest, Kuru orientated? Yeah, yeah just, I, just I one. Do. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. So, is it, correct me if I'm wrong, but does it still like the males giggle and laugh, and do the females still giggle with the whimper and cry a little bit? That's actually a good question. I don't know. I didn't. I haven't really ever paid attention to that. Oh, I don't. I know. I can't really. I, I can't. Uh, come on, uh, hand uh, some That's it. Eat up, bruv. Eat up, bruv. Come on, <laughs> hand it over. Get a get a bit of greedy in here. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Thank you. Ah, so what do you say? Yeah, you say the, the, the female take, character uh, has a different different sound cue. I'll take two. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, well, I didn't say that back in the day I used to play as a female, and I was constantly the same thing, living that cannibal life. And I do remember that she would every so often have a bit of a cry. <laughs> Just a, hmm. a little upsetness. Um, Maybe that was you in real life. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't know. I know the female uh, voice compared to the male voice is different for the giggles. It sounds different, but there's not much of a difference. Oh, that's a good question. Uh, just, it, it, there, there's, it's just voice of each character yeah and that that really defines on what the uh what that character is going to sound like depending on which character you have for the female and which character you have for the male depends on what each character themselves are going to actually uh sound like no all right no hand over some meat <laughs> <laughs> Each character has their own personality. Don't be asking me, eh? <laughs> yeah, he says, eat the meat, eat the meat. Sounds like. Look, if Greedy's doing it, you have yep. to do it. That's for science. That's for science. Choke it. By the end of the show, we should be all chuckles. Just feed it to him. Oh, I nearly did suicide. <laughs> Take it, princess. Oh, oh, uh, it's, it's worse when it's boiled. Because it looks like death. Oh. <laughs> 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 you waste that goodness. You waste that goodness. Okay, so very interesting. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, remember, this is your question. You, you brought what you're throwing up. That's it. You you brought it up, Q. <laughs> yeah, you brought this up to yourself. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry to say. There's a chance that you might just uh, end up just puking all your guts out from that one puke. Oh, okay. 
There's there's a 50 50 chance that that's what's going to happen. He'll stand up and just be on a chuck fest. Yep, yep he's going to sleep. <laughs> that's the end of his conversation. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, but uh, beautiful but, question there, Hugh. Okay. Beautiful question. Yeah, that was a great question. That is, that, is, that was an awesome question because I personally don't know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bruv. Far away. It, just yeah, just giggle. So... Just me me giggling away. Just I've gotten used to it. It's a way it's a way of life for me on Daisy now. I I have to giggle. I have to twitch. You have to get a it's bullet. Become the base game for you. <laughs> That's it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I have a couple of questions. Uh, first one is something Noah brought up before. How, when you were talking about the temperature, um, how do you reckon you're going to go on the new map? Then do you think that's actually going to be a bonus being a, a cannibal on the new map? Well, I heard there's a new there's a new uh, disease for cannibal. I'm not sure what exactly what that disease is, and I want to. I want to. I I've only heard about it. I don't know exactly what it is. Somebody told me that it could be like mad cow disease, where you actually, uh, were like eating raw, uh, let's say raw steak and everything, you get a uh, infection or a brain disease from it. Mm-hmm. That's what I was oh, yeah. told. Oh, okay. But because there hasn't been much much info about Frostline, except for what people can find on YouTube and everything like that. Yeah. Or Google. The latest disease they've got in their illness is the metal um, contamination in the snow from the volcano, the volcanic ash raining down and mixing in with the snow. It's a metal infection. Oh. I have to yeah, have a special right. tablets about, and like you know when you cut up a cow, some of them like the meat could be rotten. Yeah. And, and oh, you not know about it. Yeah, or like the yeah. predator meat, maybe. Yeah. 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 Cool. Like, like, like any kind of raw steak, if if it comes to the comes to it where you have to eat the raw steak, that that's a possibility of a of a new disease to, uh, uh come across on there. Somebody was telling me about that, and I'm like, "Well, if that's the case, I'm gonna have to venture out uh, and, <laughs> and try try this out." Does it really <laughs> rot that brain out? Exactly. See how much I can really lose it. Yeah, okay. Cool. Yeah. So, but the cannibals, though, so they're gonna have a gonna have a leg up on everyone because they're gonna be able to stay warmer than everyone else. Oh, um, yes and no. Uh, damp, damp clothes, just like, just like you, you, uh, or just like anybody else, I should say, um, myself, you, anyone in this, uh, everyone in this room, if we all got wet right now, there wouldn't be much of a matter if I have a heat buff or not, yeah. I still am cold because of having, because of being, uh, wet or damp. So okay. I still get I still get sick, like I said said before about having to I uh, get better if I get uh, sick and I have to take tet or something from a blood infection. Mm-hmm. I still I still have to uh, take the medicine to get uh, better. It doesn't just go away. Uh, yeah. And I'm not yeah. just a, I'm just not immune to everything. Yes, having Kuru disease on here does have its uh, benefits because of having that heat buff but mm. uh, it doesn't really matter if the conditions are set where you spawn in cold you have to work your body temperature up there to be able to uh, maintain mm. that uh. <laughs> to, to be able to maintain your at least yellow temperature I mean just above yeah. yellow temperature yeah, so what it sounds like is you have to be a state of normal. Anything that affects you, making you colder, will then take the buff completely out. But when you're stationary Pretty and much. and dry and all those sorts of things, you get a, a slight increase in temperature from the disease itself. 
Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Uh. And uh, also, uh, just two more two more questions. Uh, if you could change uh, the actual looks of your character because of Kuru, uh, so like a facial expression, like I don't know, bugged out <sighs> eyes or whatever, what would you oh. what would you oh. want? Oh, oh, speak of what would you want your character? Of, to look speaking like? of that, um, <laughs> I already have a great reference for you. Um, do you, do you, you know the spawnable, uh, ma faces that you could spawn in? Yeah. Oh, like uh, the just, heads? Just, yep. just, just the straight heads there, because there are the seven different faces. Yeah. You can, you can equip that, and you will have a different facial feature. Uh, you will have different Oh, hair. yeah, we know about that one. <laughs> yeah. <Facial features. laughs> Uh, we have a yeah, creation but, called uh, Cheyenne. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, yes, and I say I a creation. Have, I have a creation that I made uh, either yesterday or the day before. Um, half my face was white with snake eyes, and the other half was albino. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> That was that was my yeah. creation uh, a couple days ago. Very nice. nice. Just by nice. just by freak mis just by a freak mistake. Chucking on too many <laughs> too many heads. What head are you getting for Christmas? Uh, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, if uh, if if I could see a change uh, change to uh, the actual effects that it would uh, give you for let's say appearance it would be nice to look like an actual zombie a little like a zombified a little where like maybe my my characters may be losing dead skin uh my skin starting to fall off or something mm. um or my skin will change uh change a different color like pigmentation to make it look like i'm like undead type like yeah, like those yeah are, nice like, are, like, a little bit grayer I, that's yeah, a little bit gray, a little bit more gory looking. That's what I would like, but I, it's Daisy. I, I can't get my whole Similar to the I Halloween think the update. Smile, though. Like, I just think the smile. Like, you should have one of those really over-exaggerated smiles. Like a Joker you know? smile. I, like no, a Joker uh, smile. Yeah. Uh, like a really contorted... Mask. The wolf mask uh, uh, puts in a, a prime example for that, for the uh, the, bl the bloody smile, bloody stitch mm -hmm. smile on the wolf mask, uh, something like that too, uh, just on the character, on, on my character itself. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a great appearance because that would show I'm a cannibal, I'm eating b something that's bloody. Well, that's yeah. that's true. So, yeah. what about a onesie outfit to represent a cannibal? What would that look like? I don't know. I I, I don't know about answering that question. <laughs> <laughs> because it's probably made out of human flesh. Yeah, that's it. You gotta stitch it together with a with a with bodies. Yeah. Well, in in in, uh, in all in all honesty, what kind of what I'm wearing is kind of what my primary outfit is yep. just the pants and um, not the press vest just god this thing sucks <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it does uh, protect from a bullet uh, because a salt vest is not going to protect you from nothing yep 100% uh, but it's all blue gear uh, blue cargo pants blue mountain backpack and a salt Salt vest with butt pack. <laughs> That's my primary loadout. Well, uh, chat says you should be wearing a meat suit made up of human meat. Um, <laughs> I, like Lady Gaga's one. Yep. I actually have a loadout on All That Remains that is called the Leather Man. Yeah, nice. Uh, you're dressed in you're dressed in all leather. You have human steak crossbow bolt with bolts and you get five pox vials as well oh nice nice that, that is that is my loadout 
And so you you definitely start out uh, as a cannibal uh, for that loadout. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, that's that outfit cool. would make sense, actually. Yeah. yeah. Made out of sk uh, what, skin. One, one, one more question for you. Yeah, fire away. Shoot. Sparkling water or tap water? Ah. <laughs> <That's... laughs> uh... Depends on what the type of sparkling water it is. Oh, that's tough. Oh, it's just terrible flat. Yeah, it's not flavored, mate. It's just stated, terrible old sparkling water. That's it. Yeah. Sparkling water, like as in that they add in with like seltzer and shit like that. Sorry, sorry about the language. No, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um... so it's basically just carbonated water. No, uh... so that kind of seltzer. Uh, 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 I'd, ra I'd rather drink tap water. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <sorry>. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Cheers. hundred <laughs> percent. Straight out of the hose. Gives it that extra rubber taste. Yep. Yep. hundred yep. percent. Oh, well, that was a good little one-on-one uh, little -on -one interview. So we appreciate you sharing, Mr. Buyer. Uh, uh, great to be here. Oh, we do appreciate it. And if you, you can always go hunt him down. I mean, go and meet him at uh, Oil That Remains. The server's on my Discord. It's a good server. We were on there uh, quite recently, building around on the sky roads and stuff like that. Um, I, I, heard, I heard you were on there. I, I, I was unfortunate uh, to miss that. Uh, heard you were on there for like four hours having a, having the time of your life yeah launching cars off the edge of that sky bridge and driving around and <laughs> all sorts of shit it was good very very good 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 server to play if you want to get into faction style uh, with plenty of mods on it um so uh, uh, yeah, we do, and there are I will shout out for this one yeah uh, there are coastal PVE towns <laughs> Uh, and whereas where the rest of the map is PvP, certain areas are PvE zoned. So if you so happen to kill somebody in that zone, there's a chance that you will be banned because there's a ban on kill in uh, PvE safe zones. So that means you, just social aspects. It's where you go, chill, talk, um, oh, yeah, catch up with people, banter. There's all sorts of things you can do. Yeah. All sorts of things you can do. Uh, the the community is one a wonderful place to be. Um, you'll meet all sorts of interesting people. Uh, you'll, you, I'm not the only cannibal. Yep. You run into a few. Yeah. Uh, and uh, and uh, he he is actually the one that um, got me uh, to wanting to be more ca more cannibalism. Uh, and what I mean by more cannibalism is friends dear to me. You all are meat to me. <laughs> <laughs> Endless supply of, of meat and food when you've got friends with you along for the ride. Yes. 100%. Yes, and they're willing to sacrifice. Uh, they're 100% willing to sacrifice. Or, or they don't get a choice. No, I, I let him have a choice. Let him have oh, a choice. Let him have a choice? <laughs> I, I let him have a choice. I, I, I won't. The only way my friends die unintentionally, uh, intentionally, Cupid Bolt. Yep. Cupid Bolt, everybody dies. <laughs> Once I cu cure him. <laughs> oh, I see. You, you hear oh, me? We have problems. <laughs> Have you, can I, actually, can I ask, have you ever had, like, uh, an actual fallout with someone because of your cannibalism? Like, uh, someone that was, like, was a friend, and then because of it, it's actually drove your friendship apart? Um, I can't say it drove our friendship apart, it just, I shot him by, uh, as, um, collateral damage, because I couldn't shoot the other person that was constantly shooting me and out that me and him were having we were messing around uh and a buddy of mine was um building and because i couldn't see 
the other one on top of the police station, I shot him in the face while he was building. And um. me and things kind of went sideways a little bit, but we put things things are what they are, and we just vouched that we we won't shoot each other no more. <laughs> yeah. A little tension in the crew, a little exactly. tension in the crew, and it finally like, went. Yeah. yeah. Like they're yeah they're they're we are not allowed to point guns at each other. We are not allowed to kill each other. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, you're on restrictions. Very high. Restrictions. Yes. For good. <laughs> I, uh, I think that if uh, if we if we were like that, uh, like in our in our group, we would just seem weird if we weren't killing each other. <laughs> yeah. we, weren't, we, we, weren't, we weren't giving it our all. We Accidentally we killing all. each other. Just right. between one if of we, us. If we don't get a few just, deaths just... along the way, <laughs> with our friend. Oh, the. Like, like, uh, I'm gonna definitely shout out here to Mr. Wolfric for killing his friends. Um, Sky <laughs> Highway. He's got a car full of people. He can't slow down to because one of the roads have come down to the off ramp, and he's already doing mock Jesus. Yep. Instead of slowing down a little bit, he just holds the trigger all the way, pedal to the pedal to the floor, and. Ooh. There's some sharp we turns. Hit ground at, uh, no, we hit the ground at 160. Shit. <laughs> yep. That's hilarious. Yep, uh, oh. I, I rage quit that night. <laughs> Lost his gear. I didn't care. No? Gear, gear, gear is whatever. Uh, not to me. Can't, life of a cannibal. Don't be worried about uh, dying. Yep. Life of anyone in Daisy, yeah. don't be worried about dying. If you hear the giggles, shoot them. Don't worry about your gear. You may get eaten. Um, or get yep. onto your mic you and say hello. Eaten. You may make yourself a friend. Exactly. Yeah, You're limiting might, your that experience. Might be even better. Yeah. Yep. Try it all. Get, a, get nine, out there. Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. The cannibal, be, cannibal will be friendly if you speak up first. It's a, he just wants your leg. He doesn't want all you. Just an arm. Just an arm <laughs> just and a, a leg. <laughs> just a finger. No, but that's just, a... Just uh, a little taste. <laughs> that's a good uh, aspect into the world of Kuru and, you know, cannibalism in DayZ. It is a big part of DayZ, and not many people venture into it. So, you know, if you can get a nice high-pop server, you might be um, cruising through and uh, be able to... Take out quite a few people for a delicious, delicious treat. Um, but Mr. Buyer, appreciate you That's coming scary. out and uh, uh, sharing about Kuru. Uh, we're going to move across now Not to. Not a problem. Thanks for having me. Oh, it's an absolute legend. Absolute legend. 